Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this. We are continuing our list of our preseason way too early quarterback rankings for the XFL. Coming in at number nine, we got Reed Sinet for the San Antonio Brahmas. Now, Sinet's been around a little bit longer than most people can even remember. He's been with the Bucks. He's been with the the Dolphins. He's been with the Eagles most recently. He was highlighted uh, throwing a touchdown to Devin Allen during the preseason. That was Olympian Devin Allen. Eventually would be cut by the Eagles and then brought in in November. He did have a couple workouts. I believe he worked out for the 49ers at one point. And I think he worked out for the Dolphins once more. But sinet has been around the league for a minute. Finally getting a chance with the San Antonio Brahmas. Comes out of San Diego undrafted. The University of San Diego. Fun fact, that's actually where another alt-league legend, uh, Josh Johnson, went to school. He was coached under Jim Harbaugh. But he comes in from San Diego. You know, was in camp with the Bucks in 2020. You know, that weird preseason. They didn't really get one. And then transitioned to the Miami Dolphins for a couple years. And then would be with the Eagles in 2021 and then spent camp with them there. Now, Sinet's had a pretty good run as kind of this new age Kyle Slaughter. Uh, he's appeared in six preseason games, thrown for 655 yards, five touchdowns in the preseason. But his regular season stats while he was in college are pretty good too. He only started one year at the University of San Diego, 12 games, threw for 3,500 yards, 32 touchdowns, uh, six, almost 67% completion percentage, and now he's battling Jack Cohn, for, uh, who's also on our list a little bit further up. You should check that video out. It's in the description for the QB1 job in San Antonio. So with San Antonio taking on the Battle Hawks for week one, we'll find out. Depth charts are coming out. I like Sinet. He's been around. It's kind of weird because if he was with you know, the Eagles a year earlier, or even the Dolphins this year, we would have saw more of him, especially with Teddy Bridgewater getting hurt. Skylar Thompson got nicked up at one point, in addition to, obviously, Tua's injuries. So it's kind of a shame. Granted, we don't want to see injuries, but we never got to see Sinet out there. He's a big guy, um, good arm. He's about 6'4", 225, the t stereotypical size. And I think he's going to be the week one starter, but because of Cone's development, we could see a good quarterback battle between those two coming out. But once again, I got Reed Sinet coming in at nine. The uh, article's in the, the uh, description as well. So looking forward to keep going down this list. Thanks, guys.